Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Love Connection reading for February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Scorpio, this is a Love Connection reading, so you have to have a connection that you feel you have with someone, whether you're together or not. It has to be, be some sort of actual connection. You both have to know who each other is. If you are single, I also do um, a singles reading, so you may also resonate with that reading also. You can check the description box below. Your playlists are down there for your general readings and your love readings, so feel free to check that out also. Both may resonate for you. So Scorpio, so you don't necessarily have to be together with this person for this reading, but it does have to be some sort of mutual or actual connection that you feel you have with this person. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio in love at this time. I do say um, at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they're dated. So again, please feel free to check out your playlist. Something uh, resonates in a title. I would say watch it anyway. So Scorpio, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you had a fabulous Christmas. Hope you are having a very happy new year. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio at this time in love. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign element or a planet. And we'll see what we get for you, Scorpio. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But you don't have to be, or they could have it in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And this reading for you, Scorpio, is also if you have Scorpio in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, so let's use this deck, and we will get an overall connection energy between you and your person, whoever you have in mind at this time for this reading. Let's see what the overall connection energy is at this time for Scorpio and their person, whoever they're thinking of at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So what is the connective energy, connection energy between Scorpio and their person? Unexpected. Hmm. We have eight and four, which is 12, which is three, which is about working together, teamwork, collaboration, compromise, something unexpected here. So you may be in a setting where, uh, with a, a group of people or people around, and it's like an unexpected, maybe, Maybe you met this person unexpectedly or you're starting to develop or maybe you know them from work or from a group or a social setting or something like that. And now all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm starting to get feelings for this person, like very unexpected feelings. And I just notice here Scorpio is eight, Sagittarius is nine. All right. So Scorpio, I guess these are your cards. So I'm going to put Scorpio here and your person here, whoever you're thinking of. But if any time during this reading you feel like the energy should be switched, flip-flopped at any time during the reading, please feel free to do that. If this doesn't resonate for you, then it's not your reading. So please don't try to make it fit and hold out for the next reading or watch past readings. Um, so this reading may or may not be for everyone. Just take what resonates, throw away the rest. So Scorpio, let's see how you are feeling. So we have sincere relationships. 9 and 2 is 11, which to me is always half of the twin flame number, but it's being on the right spiritual path, being divinely guided in the right direction, very spiritual number. So very sincere relationship here. So I, I, a feeling it could have started out as a friendship, this person from work or group of friends or social setting or someone you see, maybe not every day, but maybe while you're out shopping or could be a neighbor it could be anybody and you know which may be on friendly terms and now it's like holy crap now i'm starting to get unexpected feelings for this person <laughs> and your person has control which is 10 which is about an ending and then one is a new beginning so so this person is either is in someone who likes to be in control very authoritative figure Hopefully they're not very, they're not like a controlling person or maybe they just control their feelings, their emotions um, kind of energy or they like to be the leader. I'm going to clarify all this with tarot. So let's see what's on the bottom. So we have seek seclusion 24, which is six, which is about going in a better place. Six is always about healing, balancing, going in better direction kind of energy. Seek seclusion. Someone needs to go off and seek seclusion. Hmm. 
Oh boy. I hope, I hope like this energy didn't feel like this is a very sincere person relationship. And then all of a sudden it took an unexpected turn where this person was very controlling and domineering. And now the other person is like, oh my God, I never expected this from this person. And now I have to like try to escape and seek seclusion. Oh boy. Oh boy, I hope that's not the case, but let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here for you, Scorpio. Scorpio. And I also could pick up on past, present, or future energies also. Please keep that in mind. So if this is something you've already been through, that could be possible also. All right. And just a quick shout out and thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Whether you've tipped or donated, reached out for a personal reading, uh, sent a gift, new subscribers, thank you, thank you, and welcome. So let's see what's going on here for sincere relationships on this side. We have, ooh, death, and then we have the Knight of Cups. So that's your energy, Scorpio. With death here, I, I'm feeling like this is just confirming to me that this is definitely on your side here. And Knight of Cups is moving forward in love, our very healing, compassionate, sincere energy. I mean, you could have been through something before in the past and you transformed through that. You know, it's over, it's done. You know, it's a long time ago. I've transformed. I'm ready to move on in a loving, compassionate, caring energy and ready for sincere relationships in my life. And the side over here has control. Well, we have the Ace of Swords. So that's a nice energy because that's gaining clarity. That's a brand new beginning. Uh, victory. Open, honest communication. Epiphany. Awakening. And the Magician. Wow. So this person over here could have taken control of their life also. And now they received enlightenment, as you see with the Sun energy here. And they're ready for a victorious new beginning. Also, ready to manifest that new beginning. Based on truth and clarity, epiphany, awakening. Being spiritually guided kind of energy. Divine energy. It's a sword of victory. Wow. And you see he's got the wand in his hand and then the sword. Wow. So let's see the actual situation. It's like you both... Um, like this person is like manifesting... Like they took it back control of their life. They made it with through an ending with 10 there. Now they're ready for the new beginning. One manifesting two ones here of a new beginning. And I feel like you have overcome something. And with the 11 there being spiritually led down the right path of um, that Knight of Cups being in a very loving, compassionate energy moving forward. And you're like moving right to this person. I feel like very unexpected energy. All right, so it's like you're both almost in the same energy, like of moving forward out of something. All right, so the Four of Cups, so feeling kind of bored, complacent, blah, and the Four of Wands. So this definitely could have been a marriage or something uh, that this side was once in that got very bored in that relationship, complacent kind of energy. In the, wow, and now the four of pentacles. Wow, okay. A lot of fours coming in here. Let's get a few more. Three of cups. Rejoicing, celebrating, coming together. Two of wands, making plans, decisions, moving forward. Wow. I feel like this site definitely was born complacent in a marriage or a commitment of some kind. There was a lot of holding back. Could be a lot of holding back from each other in this connection, even though you're manifesting forward and moving forward and wanting new beginnings. But there's still an energy of holding back a little bit from each other for some reason. But this side definitely here wants to make plans, decisions for the future moving forward. Wants this, you know, three cups to me. I mean, it can be third party, but I'm not really getting that. Three cups to me is always about coming together, reuniting, celebrating, having a good time, going out for a drink. So this person, I mean, they could be dating a lot until they find the right one. Just holding back until they find the right one. I, I feel like that's what it is here, that you both are making plans, decisions, moving forward. You both could be dating and holding back 
your energy, your sacred energy, until you find the right one. And then it's like, unexpectedly, you find each other and you're like, wow, this is the right one. I'm feeling. So let's see. Let's see here. With the seek seclusion there, um, could have been things of the past. Maybe you had to like escape or get away from something and had to just go seek seclusion on your own to heal, rest, rec recuperate, rejuvenate from that energy. Maybe both of you independently. I feel like kind of went through the same things in life. And now you're coming together and it's like, wow, you know, this person went through exactly what I went through. But for some reason, there's still an energy or this is an energy of once you find each other, it's like, you know, we've been dating, but now it's like you just want to hold on to each other with the four of coins energy, four of shields, because you finally found your person. So let's see advice here. So communication coming in with the page of shields, very, something very stable, secure, <laughs> with the wheel of fortune. Wow, and it looks like the pentacle there almost. So the device here is that divine energy, the universe, fate, destiny is moving this forward. Somebody will make an offer her offer here, a solid, secure, stable offer for the long term. Five of shields. So it's about, you know, being abandoned and left out in the cold, neglected. And then you get the hermit energy, which um, is about finding way or light. Oh, so I feel like you know, the her hermit here, really, you know, thinking, deciding what you really want. Do I still want to be left out in the cold, abandoned and lonely the rest of my life? Or do I want to make an offer to someone that I feel is like, just like me? We've been through the same thing. Did the universe bring me this person? And I think the universe, your advice is telling you, yes. So somebody needs to make an offer here. Because if you add this page of shields to the five of shields, you get the six of shields, six of pentacles, which is about balance, equal give and take kind of energy. So there can be balance in this connection. This is the universe shedding light down on this here, here. That you don't have to be in this energy. This is the person for you. And an offer has to come through either you or them to your person. All right, so let's see the possible outcome for you, Scorpio. For you, Scorpio, possible outcome for this situation. Five of Wands, that's conflict. But then the Fool. So there may be some uh, inner conflict about taking a leap of faith, you know, stepping into this. You see the sun there, the sun there, uh, the sun rising over here, the sun enlightenment there. So the sun is shining down on this. So someone's conflicted about taking this leap of faith, but the leap of faith and the fresh start is here, can be had. And here's the tower moment. So I think the universe is gonna step in here and force, because you see conflict, conflict. So you're both conflicted about taking this leap of faith, but with the wheel there, the universe is gonna step in here, shed enlightenment, epiphany on this situation. And I feel like you're just going to be forced towards each other to take this leap of faith eventually. The universe is just going to make it happen in some way, shape, or form. A lot of feelings and emotions there with the tower, with the water splashing all around. Oh boy. So let's see here. So we got rebirth. So there's your energy, Scorpio. So this is judgment. So this is the resurrection of soulmates. This is... Soulmates coming together, forgiveness, healing energy, um, making a final decision, a judgment call. Two, have this stable new beginning based on a firm foundation moving forward for long term. Because this is a past life soulmate with the Six of Cups energy or someone you've known for a very long time. Soulmate energy here with the Six of Cups. And now we have the Queen of Shields and the Empress. So value, worth, these are like the two same energies. So birth of something new here, stability, practicality, um, growth and abundance, moving forward. You could actually have children with this person in the future. And then King of Wands, there's that uh, Sag energy. 
and wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Healing with the Star, Faith, Hope, Optimism, and Healing. Energy, Success, and Victory. And the Ten of Shields, and did I not just say Marriage, Success, Victory, Healing, Faith, Hope, Optimism, Divinely Guided, which is Dreams Coming True, which is Dreams Coming True. Fiery, Passionate Energy with the King of Wands, the Queen of Shields, Stable and Practical, Breath of Something New, Past Life Soulmate, Soulmate Energy, making a final decision here to have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Shields with your long-term person for growth and abundance down, down the future, down the road. So, wow. So we have a lot of energy here. So we have, let's see, we have Aquarius. We have Leo Sag Aries. We have Virgo Taurus Capricorn. The Empress here is Libra and Taurus. Scorpio, that's your energy. We have Scorpio. We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We have the Magician here, which is Gemini Virgo. We have, let's see, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, Sagittarius again, Virgo, Aries, Aquarius. So those are the other signs I see. So I think the universe is just going to bring these two soulmates together. I think you're very, very similar. You went through similar things in the past. And I think, you know, you're both dating, getting back out there, ready for new beginnings, ready to date again, ready for somebody new. And then you unexpectedly run into each other, or you have already, and it's like, wow, <laughs> this is my person, my person. And being a little hesitant, you know, conflicted, okay, I wanted it, but now do I really, really want to step up? Do I really want this now? And the universe is just going to make this happen. Make it happen. Universal step in here with the wheel, the tower. Okay, so let's get some closing messages, Scorpio, here. So I do ask Scorpio, especially if you're new, check out my channel. If you like what you see, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings and if you do thank you right now i do offer a lot of readings but i may be cutting back and just concentrating on love and singles um so i may be discontinuing the general readings and the spiritual readings and the um element weekly readings as they're not very popular but you can leave me a comment below let me know what you think if you'd like me to uh continue those readings let's see what some closing messages here our Lady of Manifest Miracles, 11. And did I not say 11 was over here on this side for half the twin flame number? And now we have the other half, 11, 11. Manifest Miracles. This person over here is manifesting a new beginning. So definitely manifesting miracles and bringing their other half into their life. Unknowingly, unexpectedly, maybe. Maybe that's an unexpected card there. So we have 23 here, which is five, which is about change, Our Lady of the Rose Child. So know that there is meant much healing and blessings and beautiful energy that can come out of something. You know, even though a rose has thorns, that which can be painful and hurtful, it also blo blossoms into a beautiful rose. So there is always something beautiful beneath something that may also be hurtful. And then we have here Our Lady of Love. 42, 6, going into more healing, balance, and place. So there definitely is love here. Beautiful rose blooming here and manifesting miracles. Soulmates, twin flames coming together. And we have Our Lady. I can't make it up. Our Lady of Holy Fire, 93, which is 12, which is 3, which is about working together here. Holy Fire. I'm, I'm just thinking soulmate, twin flame energy. Definitely have all this energy here. Wow. Okay, Scorpio, <laughs> best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I say, always, always shine your light.